Hello and you are all very welcome to the sixth round of the Mercedes-Benz UCI World Cup here from an absolute classic venue, Mont Saint Anne in Canada. My name is Rick McLaughlin and one thing that has not arrived yet is my bag and that is why I am dressed appropriately. Catherine, you look impressed. You know, I'm really impressed, Rick. You really carry off that camouflage, but I just want to let you know there's no hiding out on this course. Okay, come on then. Oh, ah. oh, oh he beat me! Look at that, just taps the power on. In the skate trainer is not a problem. Quad coming this way, also not a problem. He's not seeing me because of the camouflage. Yeah, that's right. All right, so we're gonna turn onto the course here. That'll be our start loop up there. Okay. Spread everybody out. So how important is the start loop here, Catherine? Uh, start loop's important everywhere. Um, oh, we got a truck. Yeah, you really want to get it uh, spread out, single file, ideally, before the woods. Had to hop over some drainage ruts here. So this section of the course is new from previous years. Okay. Um, they're getting course ready for the uh, world champs next year. Some new changes. So this is part of that build? So this part was actually in last year, but they, what they've done is they've taken bits from last year and bits from actually dates back as far as 2010, or maybe even before, but I've actually been racing at Mont Saint Anne for like Canada Cups and Nationals since about 2004. Okay. So unless they're building something new, pretty much seen it all. Uh. So this is the new stuff. It means that uh, rather than last year, we had three big climbs and three big descents. Now we've got two of the classic climbs and descents still, but then we have this kind of, I wouldn't call it recovery, um, but uh, definitely a lot more up down rolling around here. So I guess on the first lap, this will be full chat. Oh, for sure. And it's actually, we just had a massive rainstorm. I didn't want to mention that. <laughs> I didn't want to sound like I was getting my excuses in, but it did like thunder and lightning for about 20 minutes. It was pretty epic. And that is absolutely Mont saint -Anne classic style. Oh, look at this, ruts. You! <laughs> right, don't have too much fun. And then there's an A and B here. This is an A. Oh. <laughs> so without that rain this may actually have been a bit more tricky because the sand was uh moving around a lot more so there was a beeline there sorry the beeline you would have rather than turning in and doing the steep shoot that we did oh, i'm off i'm off already <laughs> <laughs> if we can look back you can see the a b there okay the b just would have been uh, less steep um, and probably not lose say. you much time. You know, if you're with someone who was in a pair of pink shorts and a borrowed bike, that's what you send them down, is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, you're good. I'll let you know if there's anything scary. You sure? <laughs> no. No, okay. So this is the first World Cup we're seeing you back out then, really? Yeah, so I had to miss uh, the last two World Cups internationals, just with a broken humerus. And uh, I'm excited to be back at it. Excited to see some course changes. Is this a, as a racer, is this a tricky place to come back to? Oh my God. Um, for sure you'll see people jumping that by race day. Another loose, sandy corner. But despite the buckets of rain that we just got, it is feeling pretty good out here. Look at this. Whew. You're cooking already, really. I have a couple laps in on you, so it's an unfair advantage. That would make a difference. We both know it. <laughs> Finally, I appreciate the, appreciate the token. 
but so how difficult is it as a racer to miss out to miss out on those races yeah and come yeah. back and get your eye in it definitely is pretty tough um you know i know that you have to do a little bit of um expectation management when you come back because everyone's been racing you haven't been um i'll just chat after this <laughs> uh, so two options here both pretty fast um, but a chance that you can maybe get in a pass also just pretty fun but yeah definitely having missed a couple races i'll be missing some of the high-end speed that other people are having right now and uh hey guys but yeah kind of uh looking forward to just getting my mojo back a little bit feeling comfortable on course and although for a lot of people and for myself St. Anne is um you know might seem like a scary course to come back to after a broken bone yeah. um or just ride a course preview off or just to do the course preview of blind on a borrowed bike and pink short storm <laughs> um but because i've raced here i'm um, kind of all of my riding career it's a uh, it's a kind of uh yeah. trail that i'm i guess trail that i'm comfortable with how often have you raced how many times have you raced in st anne oh st anne uh, at least once a year since 2004. Um, I think, yeah, my first kind of real Canadian nationals as an elite was here. Um, and I mean, it's hard to get the stats out when your heart's doing what mine's doing, but second and 15, you won in 16, third and 17? Uh, yes. It's been a yeah. happy hunting ground for you this yeah. place, hasn't it? Um, I guess I hold the most women's wins here, which is something nice to hold in your home country. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'd like to keep that streak alive. But uh, you know, this year, definitely, uh, I think even a top 15 would be a good ride, um, just coming back from injury. But you know, I'm gunning for the best I can do. And hopefully uh, world champs here next year are gonna be even better. Winning champs here must be a massive, a massive thing on your radar, surely. Absolutely, yeah. It's a, it's super exciting. Just it's a course that I love, and I love it because there is no hiding. You have to, you have to have it all, yeah. and uh, and it's at home. So I grew up actually. Right now I live 4,500 kilometers west of here, but I grew up about 700 kilometers east. So. Um, I've got family that can come up and visit, watch the races, which is always special. Phew. Oh, no. So something that's also different this year is there's a lot of this switchbacking on grass. Yeah. Um, so it'll be just add a different flavor to the racing and uh, some good passing opportunities here. That's a nice chance to work on some high speed cornering. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it so far. <laughs> are these bits, as a racer, are these useful? Because you can see the whole way up this climb. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, you do need those. For one thing, like the two major climbs that are left on the course, they're really tight switchbacks. You're not going to be passing on them. Okay. If you're going to pass, it needs to happen before or after. But afterwards, you both head into pretty technical section so um, having these opportunities to pass is going to be critical yeah. my heart rate is critical <laughs> so this climb not only is it steep but it's pretty tricky um, especially after the rain that we just had because there are brand new ruts running down it from uh, than there were yesterday the uh, flat shoes aren't really no. helping me here. <laughs> Definitely clipless is good. Oh no! <laughs> I'm going to run. I'm off and running. Do it. This climb, especially on the first lap, 
can really get traffic by, backed up. So you want to get good position into it. I'm running a 32. She's still talking really calmly. I think my heart's going to explode. I've got a 45 one up on the back. And that is just enough gear for this. Oh. How you doing, Rick? Yeah, so real good. I think I've got it. <laughs> You're looking good. Yeah, real good. I almost didn't see you though. <laughs> this is so tough up here. <laughs> it's super tough, yeah. Like, um, the climbs are very unforgiving in St. Anne, but what makes them bearable is we get wicked fans that'll be lining this. Being Canadian definitely helps because you get some pretty good support coming up and uh, yeah, and then we get to go down. Being Northern Irish isn't helping me. <laughs> All right, I'm gone. Okay, do it. Right. So how is it racing at home? Because I always think that, I mean, people like me sort of think that you have an advantage, but it must bring a lot of stress with it as well. Uh, yeah. And I mean, the funny advantage is like, I still had a 12 hour travel day, three hour time zone change just coming from British Columbia. Yeah. But absolutely my comfort on this course, after being here so many years and the good support I get is awesome. I'm gonna not talk as we're gonna head into the Beatrice now. Okay. And so there's an A and B line, A left, B right. But it should be good. Okay. Engage your dropper. Use a dropper, she says. B's on the right, is it? Yeah, uh, up here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was good. Let's keep it controlled. And that's the Beatrice. The B is running on my right there. We'll see where Rick comes out. Mandatory I-5. It's pretty good. Oh, that is a climb. Yeah. And this so is just the beginning. Out. So this one, uh, I always quite like this one because like it's hard. <laughs> um, it's hard and it gets harder. So you start in, you have opportunity to get a pass done before you get to the switchbacks. Oh. Because as you get to the switchbacks, it's going to get steeper and it's going to get more tricky to clean the corners. Uh, in the recent years, they've been nice to us and they have filled in a bit of the roots so helps us a bit with traction but you get some moisture on it like today and you can definitely be fighting the real real slip oh this is hard work <laughs> i'm cooking now yeah i feel like this is probably the most physically demanding part of the course so yeah this is where you really want to have position and be leading because pretty hard to overtake after this <laughs> I'm wandering I'm holding people up now that's my excuse go on Anne <sighs> this is not fun <laughs> what I thought it was fun Rick it's not fun <laughs> okay it's gonna get more fun you just have to get to the top first. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> this is horrific. But there you can enjoy a nice view. No. <laughs> no, no, no nice views. All right, Anne, show us how it's done. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Anne's away. She's had enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's really tough. It is really tough. And it's you can't get any grip on the rocks. It's one of the physically hardest tracks on this circuit, for sure. I would Five say. Five laps of this. Uh, oh, probably more. Yeah, I mean, they're all hard. No <laughs> so that's easy what makes them good and makes it separate. So this one, aim for the high points on the rocks because you're kind of uh, got to wiggle around a bit. Here, this section is always wet because as you'll see soon, there's creeks that run through it both underground and on top. River crossing, first of the year. Yeah, so that means that even in the best conditions, it's pretty slick in here. Don't act like you're not impressed, Dan. Oh. 
You can do it, Rick. And push me up. And it goes back up here. Yeah. And then down right there. So um, again, they've opened up two lines for us this year. So we used to always have to take that right line. Yeah. Now I'm going to go left. It means you can get more speed into the next section because there's some slippery rocks that you need to have momentum for. So they left the old line in, which I like, but uh, you also have an option when your legs are tired. Yeah, I know them. I know them making this look amateur hour, but this is so difficult. Yes. Okay, Ah. There it is. And here is the flat tire section. <laughs> All right. So this is where the flat top is. So just thread the needle. Oh. Love it. I probably screwed him up with the. Uh, How have you got through there? <laughs> so here we're gonna have two line options. And this is where uh, I actually think what is called uh, the B line is going to be faster here um last year i was taking the a but i noticed that during the race it seemed to slow down so what size the b on uh so we'll go left for the b and uh the a is just higher consequence now for a flat and b is pretty smooth and fast This is the bridge that has a drop off of it now. So a little air. Yep. Oh, drop. Nice one. Catherine's gone now. This is such a difficult track. Yeah. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> How was that? That was actually enjoyable. Yeah, pretty good. The rest of it less so. <laughs> so yeah, for that um the A line there, I just find with erosion probably even worse today with that rain, <laughs> the rocks are super exposed. Yeah. And you're a bit of a, a ping pong ball down there, especially if you're lighter. So um there's a lot of them right in the middle of the line, or what you think the line's gonna be. Right. But yeah, I'm uh, really happy actually with how the course is riding for grip and everything. This is pretty I good. I thought you were going to say how I was riding. I, yeah, I'm really happy with how you're riding. <laughs> Don't say that. So is this the end? Big sign saying the end. Almost, yeah. We just got a final climb up into the finish. And uh, you see that 80% zone. That is where riders that are in 80% of the winter's time are going to get pulled just so um, it doesn't complicate lapping and finishing. I did get pulled at my first world. Because St. Anne used to do all right for sprint finishes, didn't it? Uh, As this little climb sort you of- You know what? At the 2010 world, I got passed in the last corner into the finish and lost bronze by two seconds. Oh. It was sad. <laughs> so hopefully 2019 will be really good. Oh. This is brutal. You made it. <laughs> you rode a lot to see me in. Yeah. I think that's as tough a one as I've done. You are crazy people. <laughs> Have you got anything left for a sprint? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's do it. Ah. Oh, right her up. <laughs> I think you took it easy on me there, Rick. <laughs> Sandbag the whole way around. <laughs> Saving it for the glory. Doesn't matter until you cross the finish first, right? <sighs> Catherine. Nice. Thank you very much. I don't much. know if it's been pleasurable for you, but thanks for keeping me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to go have a nap. Gin is what I'm going for now. <laughs> As a meditation, yeah. calm down. Medical gin. <laughs> I think your shoes are going to you know, an hour to dry out I'm and be going for it'll sushi be fine tonight, that you yeah. have no luggage. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> there we go, the 
course preview's done for another week. Catherine, yep. we look forward to seeing you all race this fantastically enjoyable track here in Mont Saint Anne on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> oh, oh, he beat me! Look at that, just taps the power on. In the skate trainers, not a problem. Quad coming this way, also not a problem. He's not seeing me because of the camouflage. Yeah, that's right. All right, so we're going to turn on to the course here. That